Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to see you today. So I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking my dinner and I am gonna be cooking southern fried cabbage. I already have a whole head of cabbage um, sliced up here. I'm not gonna cook it all because this is, was a big head of cabbage. This would be way too much for one meal. And I'm also going to fry up some Johnsonville and Dooley sausage. And I went ahead and just took out half of it, and then I'm going to put the other half back in the freezer. And I will probably make some um, jambalaya or some red beans and rice or something with the other half pound of the andouille. So um, let me stick it back in the freezer. But before I get started with the cooking, I have to take care of some business. So I have had several subscribers inquire about how you can support my channel. Um, if you look in the description box below each video, I have some links. And uh, there's a link to my PayPal account. But anyway, that link is there. And it should be in blue if you do want to make a donation to my PayPal to help support my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. And you just click on the blue link and it will take you to PayPal. And then um, my other, the other way to support me is via my Patreon. Now Patreon, it's set up to where a creator like myself can make uh, special videos uh, to upload there and only the Patreons can watch those. Well, because of me being lazy <laughs> and not getting around to it, I have not sorted um, posting anything in particular, you know, on Patreon, but I plan to do so soon. But if you wanted to become like a, uh, a monthly uh, contributor to my channel and, and you just don't want to have to worry about it, you can certainly join the Patreon and uh, that will be a link. I, I think I have it set up to where you can um, join for three dollars. There's like a three dollar tier, a five dollar tier, and a ten dollar tier. And that way, um, you know, the money would just be deducted from your debit card or checking account every month. And then the third way to support my channel is by ordering your Amazon products through my Amazon link. Uh, so in the description below will be my Amazon link. And if you click onto that, it will take you to Amazon. And then you just place your order like normal, and it's free for you to use. It doesn't cost a single dime. So thank you so much for inquiring about that and for giving me this opportunity to, um, to put this on my channel and for y'all to be able to support me. So anyway, let's get started with this fried cabbage and andouille sausage. So of course we want to start with bacon grease. So I have... Um, some bacon grease left over from my last couple of mornings that I fried bacon. I'm not sure it's going to be enough, but this is what we're going to start with. So let me get this nice and hot. And then to the bacon grease. Yeah, I see these other creators filming from up here. How do they get their camera up there? Is it on some kind of a little bend, tall bendable tripod? I'll have to look into that. So it's your donations that help me to buy the things like that that I need to make decent videos. And I really appreciate it. So what I did, I went ahead and, and uh, cooked me a pot of rice. I will be eating my fried cabbage and sausage over rice. It will stretch the dish farther. So I cut up two medium yellow onions. You can use whatever color you want, white, red, or shallots, whatever you have in the house. Or you could use an onion and a shallot. But I cut up two onions. I'm not going to use them both. That's just way too many. And I cut up, I think I cut up, this was one very large bell pepper. Okay, so we're going to uh, saute the onions and the bell pepper first. And then we'll throw in the sausage. We'll let all of that cook and then we'll throw the cabbage in last. Let me see if this is hot enough yet. Yep, it sure is. I know y'all think I'm crazy for cooking in my nice clothes without an apron. I have aprons. Several of my subscribers have sent them to me and I appreciate it, but like today I have on two layers and a, another apron layer, it would just be too hot. So I'm pretty sure if the sweater does get splattered, I'll be able to wash wash out any kind of stain that's on it. 
I'd rather be comfortable when I'm cooking than to feel claustrophobic. Y'all know I have mental problems, and one of those is OCD. I'm just obsessive compulsive about weird stuff. There's no rhyme or reason to it. So, let's throw in the green, the whole green pepper. It was a big one, like I said. And so we'll let these cook down for a minute. And while these are cooking, I'm going to be cutting up the sausage. I went ahead and cut it in half. I prefer to have smaller pieces than the, the big round pieces. It sure looks good and smells good. I know it's going to taste good. So my subscriber who gifted me this, um, this Instacart delivery, beautiful food, uh, he sent me some Zatarain's uh, boxed meals. So what I want to do is use the other half of the sausage to prepare one of the Zatarain's meals. One of my subscribers told me that that bourbon chicken is really, really good. And I have the chicken thighs, so. Okay, to this, I'm going to go ahead and add the sausage. Let it get nice and brown. And then we'll add the cabbage last, and then um, the seasonings. There's some cooks I've seen on YouTube that season it at this point, but if I do that, y'all, I'll, I'll end up with way too much seasoning. Now I'm wondering if I put enough onion. I guess so. I'll go ahead and close this up and use this tomorrow in another dish. Erica Stout told me that I could fry those little baby cucumbers. So I'll have to look into that. Now I still have some of the candy <laughs> that Beverly sent me from New Orleans. Actually, she, she lives in Slidell. Of course, I get into it about midnight when I'm in bed, and then, then I have to get up and brush my teeth again. Uh, I can talk myself out of eating it all day, but come bedtime, I lose all willpower. It just goes out the window. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Let's go ahead and add the cabbage. Go ahead and add the seasoning. I don't need that whole box of salt. Just going to add a little bit of salt. Put some black pepper, garlic powder. ground onion, and the Tony Chasseries. You can also order this off of Amazon. This has salt in it, so that's another reason that I don't use very much salt. And I'm not going to add any water. Um, you know, you could add maybe a little bouillon if you have it, or broth. But I think I'll get enough water from the cabbage. And then I will add my Worcestershire sauce and my Tabasco sauce last. I'm going to add a little, little tiny bit of Goya. a dash. Well, I have some more stories. <laughs> I have a lot more stories about Craig, but, you know, I, it's, it's difficult for me to balance telling a story about an ex-boyfriend when I have a boyfriend now, because I don't just say anything that would jeopardize my relationship with Zeus. Of course not, but of course, he understands that my channel is an autobiography of my life, and that includes boyfriends that I've had in the past. <laughs> Most of the boyfriends that I've talked about were 
I talked about them early in my channel life, and um, Zeus and I were not in a relationship at that time. But now that we are, you know, I respect his feelings. So there are other things that I would like to tell you about Craig, about the waterbed and things like that that happened that were funny. But out of respect for Zeus, I won't go into that. Then and to hurt his feelings or make him feel um, uncomfortable in any way. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just turn this on low and cover it. Then I'll come back in a little while and uh, stir it. Y'all just hang tight. Okay, let's take a peek at this. I did stir it one time off camera. It's looking delicious. So what I'm going to do is turn the fire up, add the Worcestershire sauce, and then just let it fry some more. The cabbage isn't quite tender enough for my liking. I decided to throw in a bay leaf. I like the flavor of bay leaves. They must cook with bay leaves a lot in Cuba. Um, there was a Cuban restaurant um, in Asbury Park, and I picked up a Cuban sandwich from there one day. Oh, well, they had so many bay leaves on that in that Cuban sandwich. Couldn't even taste anything else. So let's put a little bit of Tabasco and my secret ingredient. Liam Perron's Worcestershire sauce. Mm -mm. Sure smells good, but I'm going to taste it and see if it needs any more seasonings. <laughs> Y'all, I'm still trying to get used to these prescription glasses. I feel like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> just wobbling or something. Oh, I just can't get used to them. I don't know why. I may have to Go back to the optometrist and see if they need to be, if the lens need to be changed or something. Because they're, for distance, which I didn't even really need, but then I do need the, the bifocals. I've had them for a year and still haven't gotten adjusted to them. Okay, so let me uh, take out a little bit of this. I already got my sweater, man. I still don't have my strength back, y'all. It takes a long time for me to recover from, especially the flu, although it was a very mild case. I'm not complaining at all. Thankfully, I had the flu shot again, and it was very mild. But poor baby Ife, she was so sick. She was just pitiful. <clears throat> Perfect. <laughs> the only thing it needs is to be eat. <laughs> mm. Oh, that andouille sausage is so good. You can really taste the smokiness in it. I've always bought um, Hillshaw Farm. I've never bought um, Johnsonville sausage before, but looks like I might be switching. It sure is delicious. So what I'm going to do, because I want a little gravy in it, I could add a little slurry, slurry but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to add a little water gravy in it because I am going to be eating it over rice. So I'll be back when I get my plate fixed. Okay, I have a little bit of rice in my bowl. Let me just spoon this over the rice and then I will have a delicious dinner. Add a little bit of that gravy. See, that's what adding the water did to it. Okay. 
Okay. I think I'll eat it with a spoon. So here's what it looks like. <laughs> Let me go ahead and give it a taste test. I know it's going to be good. Mm -mm. <laughs> so again, I want to thank my subscriber who gifted me this wonderful shipment of um, Instacart delivery food. And not only did you pick up good food, but you actually planned meals and bought the ingredients for full meals. So thank you so much for your kind, compassionate, and loving heart and your generosity. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. So y'all please give me a thumbs up and share, and you just keep on coming back.